Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlogs. Um, this weekend's gonna be a little different. David actually isn't here. Um, I'm actually completely alone by myself with Theodore, who's crying at me right now. Let me bring him in. Um, so, <laughs> yes. Um, so David has actually gone to a stag do for the night. So I am home alone, which is so rare for me. I feel like David and I are always together. We're always here. We very, very rarely have nights apart. So you know what? I'm actually seeing this as like a little bit of a blessing in disguise. For those of you who have been with your partners for a really long time or even a short time, I feel like just a night to yourself, a self-care night. And of course, well, I have my puppy. So it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have the best day although he just wants to play with me right now. We are going to, I've got so much filming to do. I've got so much to show you guys. Um, and I'm also going to go through like some healthy recipes. I want to create this like vegetarian bolognese kind of thing tonight and then create these cookies out of chickpeas. It sounds really weird, but they looked really good on Instagram. So I feel like we're gonna give the recipe a go. And then, yeah, this morning I went to Reforma Pilates and actually something really exciting. So this week we launched the cozy car seat um, on By Teddy, which is just so exciting. Um, it did really, really well for the first few days, which is just incredible. We only launched it on Thursday and it's now Saturday. Um, but I have literally been up to here in boxes. Like the flat was filled and filled. This whole room was just boxes everywhere because we distribute everything ourselves. Um, and we're like a little warehouse. Um, so yeah, it was it was a lot of work. And also I do have another update for you, um, but I'll show you later in the video on what we're changing in the flat. Um, so yeah, this everyone, say hello to Theodore. No, you don't wanna say hello. I know. Um, also guys, I'm gonna do a bit of a Q and A in this video. So stay tuned. I think I'll leave it till the end of the video just because I had quite a few questions on my other videos um, about why I do this, what do I do, etc. Like so many different things that I would love to share with you guys, um, especially now you guys have asked the questions. Um, so stay tuned for that later on in the video. And yeah, I am trying to move a lot of my hauls out of these videos and do them more in um, like Zara hauls, etc., separate to this. Um, so we won't be doing any of those in here, but I do have some parcels that I would like to unbox with you in a moment. So we'll go through those as well. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, I quickly wanted to take you through a few things that I've ordered outside of like the bigger haul videos that I usually do um, outside of my vlogs. And it's just like a few little bits of things that I'm loving at the moment and I just wanted to share with you. First of all is, so you guys know I am a matcha girly, I think. Maybe you don't, maybe you do, I don't know. I post that a lot on my other channels. Anyway, I thought I would order the Gen Key matcha from Selfridges because Georgia is actually coming tomorrow and this will be in some of this vlog um which is so exciting but we're gonna make matches together <laughs> it's one of the things that we're doing when she's here we're actually doing so much filming at home we normally go out and about as you would see um but we're doing some we're trying some new stuff basically indoors and seeing if that works um and if the content resonates with people however I ordered some janky matcha because I love it when I have Genki Matcha in London, when I go to Selfridges and they make the iced Genki Matchas, it's so good. I love the one which is like the CBD lavender one, it really does calm me. However, I have no idea how to make that from home, but I just thought I'd order myself some matcha because I've been having a lot of like mushroom coffee, which you would have seen in the previous vlog. And as much as I love that, I do try to, I do like to mix it up between the two and I haven't had matcha at home in such a long time. So I'm super excited to try this one and I'll let you guys know how I'm going with this one. I've never had Genki matcha at home before. So um, hopefully it'll be really good. But what I love about it is that it's ceremonial grade matcha, which is super important. And, um, you know, matcha is so good for calm, focus, energy, antioxidants. So um, yeah, that's what I bought from Selfridges. Now, the next piece is actually a gift from a brand called My Blend. So, um, I haven't bought this, full disclosure. It says, My Blend Power of Synergies. 
And I just wanted to show you guys what was inside because I actually haven't really looked at myself, but they wanted to send me a PR package. Um, so actually this is really interesting. The, the packaging is really like earthy toned. So they wanted to send me like their glowy products essentially. They also have, by the way, LED masks, which I really, really want to try. So you've got Face Expert Skin Renewal. Oh. So the two things we've got from here are Skin Renewal Peel, um, Face Expert My Blend, and it has AHA 9.5% glycolic acid and tartic acid, and BHA 1.9% salicylic acid and AAA purific acid. Wow, this all sounds very strong. So let me try this for a few weeks before I recommend it. Um, but it is a resurfacing treatment that reveals the skin's radiant radiance. Blemishes are toned down, skin texture is more refined, and pores are tightened. This is a product for me. I'm so excited to try it. I was literally thinking as I was applying my makeup and stuff today, I was like, my skin feels really like unsmooth. So I'm really excited to try this. They've also sent me this product called No Makeup. So glow fluid with fermented turmeric extract, marine prebiome, hyaluronic acid, vegetable squalene. Wow. That is like some pretty impressive ingredients in a product that I don't think I've ever heard that combo before. And what I love about the packaging, guys, look how like earthy toned it is. It looks really sustainable. Um, oh, you know what? I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect from what they were sending me, but I'm really excited to try both of these now because, gosh, I do really need to completely renew my skin. So this hopefully will help. Just give me a couple of weeks and I'll report back to you if I am getting on well with it before I, I recommend it. But um, I think it is a new brand um, and I'll link it down below if you're interested in um, shopping it in the meantime. Now the next piece is actually just literally, I've just unboxed it from H&M and it is this Hermes dupe belt. Look at that guys. Oh my gosh. It looks like so good. I don't know if I go these jeans, mm -hmm. but oh my gosh, look how good it looks. And I also, I haven't unwrapped it, but I've got it in the black as well. So let me have a think about how I'm gonna style these up and see if I'm gonna keep both of them. Mm -hmm. But they basically ran out of stock so quickly. I had to get my hands on both of them as soon as they came back into stock. Um, so, mm -hmm. guys, there is a little puppy whining at me right now because he wants attention. Does anyone else who has a do? Oh guys, honestly, I love him so much, but it's really frustrating when you're trying, you've got a puppy and you're trying to do some filming and they're just wanting your attention the whole time. I don't know if anyone else's dog is like that, but I'm really trying not to give in when he whines at me or barks at me for attention. I try to like look the other way and like show him that it doesn't mean fun or playtime. Um, but it's not really been working that well. Um, he actually, I think, respects, he actually respects David way more than he respects me. So guys, that is it for everything, like the little bits that I've bought this week. I do have a lot from ASOS, Abercrombie, and Zara, but I'm doing the vid bigger videos separately for this video. Um, cause this is like more of a vlog style. And I think I literally just mentioned, but Georgia is coming tomorrow. So it's gonna be so fun. We can film some bits, um, which I'm really, really excited for. And it's just me and Theodore for this evening. So we are gonna have the coziest, coziest evening. I'm actually gonna end up, I think, sitting on the sofa soon and editing, um, quite a lot of content and doing some by Teddy bits because there's so much to do for it. And then, um, yeah, we should have like a really, really nice evening and morning together tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, it is like 5 p.m. And I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing in winter. Well, no, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. It's summer and I'm wearing really cozy warm clothes because I don't think we're getting a summer in the UK this year. It's so annoying. So I've got on my Zara cream cardigan, some mango, like black lounge trousers. Hey Theodore, hi. And then I've actually got some socks with my Birkenstocks, which is not the best look, but I was tempted to put Uggs on, but we can't be getting to that stage where I'm wearing Uggs in summer. Like I'm just not having it. Um, these are basically like indoor shoes. I clean them before I come in, by the way, just if anyone is wondering. Theodore's having a nice big stretch because he has been asleep. We have been on the sofa here 
I have been editing content for ages. It's taken forever. I've got to do it by Teddy Post and everything and watching some vlogs of some people that I love to watch. And I wanted to show you guys, actually, let me flip you around. Excuse this, but if you've watched my videos before, you will know that here used to be a dining table with a bench, and then we've got the two chairs, the chairs that used to be there. Now, this went this morning, we sold it on Marketplace, and the reason is, is I just didn't like the vibe anymore. I'm actually going to be changing up the whole vibe as much as possible in the flat for many reasons that I'll get into in another video. Um, I really wanted to get into this video, but I feel like it deserves its whole own video to go through. However, I have ordered, I'm going to put a picture here of what I've ordered. I'm really excited and I hope it works with the space. It's basically a really big round table that is really light coloured and I'm such like a neutral girly and that table that we had here from John Lewis was just too dark for me. Um, but it's like a really light nice table. I need to get new chairs obviously and these are kind of very, they're like corduroy and dark wood. But I really wanna get some really, really nice four new chairs but I'm gonna wait for the table to arrive to fit in the space. I've ordered it from a brand called Vont, which I don't know if anyone has heard of. I've not used it before, but I've actually just sent them a quick email because I ordered it a few days ago and I haven't heard when it's going to be delivered. I'm hoping soon because I have nowhere to eat now because this island doesn't have an overhang, so there's like no bar store area, nothing, um, which of course David was not happy about. But I feel like I've wanted to make this change for a while, so I'm really glad that we're doing it. Um, and yeah, and then I'm going to cook some some dinner. We are making a lentil ragu tonight, but I'm kind of worried that lentils didn't come on the order. And I live in the middle of nowhere. I don't have a car for the weekend because David's taken it. So if there are no lentils in the cupboard, then I'm kind of screwed. So let's take a little look. Okay guys, even though David is on his stag do, he, well not his stag do obviously, but on a stag do, he's still sending me things to do for my telly. Well, obviously I knew I had to do a post for today, but I sent him pictures and I was like, I think we need to edit these because they're a bit dark. Um, and bless him, he's just edited them, even though he should be out having fun. <sighs> Such a good boyfriend. Um, that's what happens when you run a business. I feel like we're always on now, like crazy always on. Oh, question for you guys. What are we thinking about the length of my hair? I am really liking it. I think, you know what, I think it suits me. I think it does need a little trim, but the framing around my face used to be really short. I'm kind of liking it longer with the longer layers. Um, I actually think this is the happiest I've been with my hair in forever. So I'm gonna keep it like this, but the only problem I'm having is this frizz. And even though I've been using Color Wow Money, I've been using Color Wow Spray, I'm like, yes, it lasts a couple of washes. I actually think it's down to the hard water. So I'm gonna try something called Hello Clean Shower Head Thing. I'm gonna order it and stuff because honestly, I just can't stand this frizzy hair anymore. And I feel like I'm the only one whenever I'm like posting videos and stuff online, it's actually kind of embarrassing. Like even though I've brushed my hair through, I've made it really nice. It's just the smoothiness and the silkiness doesn't always stay after every single wash, which is so annoying, but it's very small problems anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm getting my hair cut in a couple of weeks, so let me know if you think I should do anything different. I do wanna get some color, like some lighter color into it, but I just don't think I can bring myself to do the color management. And every time I go into the salon, I'm always up to my hairdresser like, oh my God, let's do something different here. I'm like, mm, I'm never gonna do something different, like, let's be honest at this point. Um, so yeah, anyway, food time. Guys, I really hate the lighting in this side of the flat. It is so, like, how do I put it? Dingy, dark. Um, anyway, I've come across this girl who I followed on Instagram before, um, before she started this account, because she's like a model and she's just like, good vibes, good life. Anyway, she's created a vegan health account that has already hit 100K followers <coughs> on, on Instagram, and I'm making two of her recipes for dinner tonight. What do you want? Why are you barking at me? You want some dinner? It's 5.25 guys and Theodore wants his dinner. Shall I give you a stick? There. Guys, let's give him a stick. 
Don't judge me, that is probably part of the problem of why I have a demanding dog, but it is what it is. You've got to do what you've got to do to film. Anyway, lentil ragu. So, it's a quick run through of what I've got in, in terms of the ingredients before we start. What? Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like that's just such a labradoodle thing to jump up on to the counter. Anyway, so we've got one white onion, the garlic, very lazy of me, I know, but I can just chop it really quickly. I've put this extra like tomato puree here because I feel like that might help make it better. I don't know, we're gonna wing it. We've got a vegetable stock cube because even though this wasn't in the recipe, I feel like I'm gonna add to it. And I've also got a drop of red wine. Now, even though I'm not a big drinker, I hardly ever drink. It is something that I might just put into my cooking once in a blue moon. I've got almond butter. I thought this was such a weird ingredient to put in a lentil ragu, but we will <laughs> be going with it. That's what they, they said on the recipe. And then um, got some olives to drop into it, chili flakes, tomato, tomatoes, green lentils, pasta and the olive oil, and then obviously salt and pepper. And if I throw anything else in as I go, I will let you know. Maybe I should put some carrots in it because you normally get carrots in a bolognese as well and I need something to bulk it out. So I'm probably, let's get some carrots out. couple of carrots. Carrots are like also one of my favourite snacks of all time, just like chopping them up, munching on them. I love it. And I also give the some as well. They're just like a great, great snack. Um, so yeah, let's get cooking. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prep it all now and I'm going to cook it on like a really low heat so it like cooks for a really, really long time because even though it's only like 5.30, I feel like one, I want an early dinner because we're going to be making chickpea, brown, uh, chickpea cookies later. But also, I just feel like um, letting, um, bolognese or vegetarian bolognese, etc. It just tastes way better if you've been cooking them for a few, not a few hours, but for a while and on a slow cooker. So that's what we're going to do. one of these do you find that it actually does end up sticking even though it's meant to be like the best non-stick pan like you can see here I was just like so ruined and this is my second one as well they did send me a replacement but I don't even put it on that high heat and I just don't I don't care so if anyone else has any problems with that or any solutions please let me know because it's so frustrating when you're trying to cook stuff and it just ends up sticking to the pan right but let's I've chopped everything here. Everything's all nice and organized, as you can see. There you go, in it, the little bowls. And now we are gonna cook together. I've got on some music, so I'm gonna put it on time lapse, and I'm gonna go for this Coffee Beats playlist because I feel like it's like nice and uplifting and perfect for cooking. We'll go with it. Like there's no easy way 
Um, and it means it's so messy and annoying. But I just I put it all in the hand the bowl and we're gonna go give it to you, aren't we? Come on, let's go. leftovers as well which is just perfect for the week and then I've also got one glass of kombucha which is like my go-to alternative to cocktails and alcohol I've been having this one for like five years it's the LA brewery strawberry and rhubarb I think it used to be strawberry and black pepper if I remember correctly like back in the day but they've changed it since then so 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 good oh do you want some as well anyway you know really wants to have some dinner with me so I am going to try and distract him whilst I eat my food. <laughs> or I can see them in a bit. Okay guys, this is very real for me right now. I have changed into one of the super old <laughs> t-shirts. I've got so baggy. I've got my white company star pajamas on because I just want to be extra cosy. I put the devil wears harder on, I've got the candles lit on the sofa. Quite honestly, I ate. Honestly, I ate so much pasta that everyone was having cookies. cookies. We'll see. I'll film it if we do have cookies. But I'm just going to put myself on here and then I'm going to just work on my laptop and bring the duvet in and we're going to have such a cosy time, aren't we, Theodore? Yes. No? Okay. <laughs> Okay guys, it is much later and I know I said goodbye for the evening, but I ended up making those cookies and they are so good. If you are like me and you love healthy alternatives and you can get past the fact that there's chickpeas in these, oh my gosh, look at them. Ah, they look really good. I overdid them by a couple of minutes, which is why they're a little bit brown. Let me just show you them here. Oops. So here they are, they look really fluffy. I've got another one in a box, I'm just gonna have one now. But look at them, they look so cute. I think they look really good. I will leave the link to the recipe down below because it was from that Bonnie girl again. I have been trying all her recipes and they are so good. No wonder she's grown by so many followers recently. So I'm gonna enjoy these in front of the TV and just have a very, very chilled evening and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning guys, excuse my very casual attire. We are going on a dog walk. I always take Theodore literally as soon as I wake up. Um, I was up since half six this morning. It is now 7.45, but I was just scheduling a YouTube video and doing some stuff on my laptop in bed. But I've got this fourth and reckless hoodie on, which is so oversized. I got it in a large, which might have been, sorry, I'm all caught up with Theodore, which might have been a bit too big. And then I've got my Adenola leggings on, and then I've got some Nike socks, and my Lululemon bag, which I find so helpful for dog walks, because I've got like a section for treats and everything and everything else that we need for our walk so we are going to go we're going to go for an hour and 15 and then we're going to come back do a workout and then i think we're gonna have to tidy the flat before georgia gets here get ready or by 10 30 so let's get on with it hey guys just listen to a bit of Mr. Brightside. Nothing better, really. I think I did hear that they've been like the longest people in the charts ever. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not like, surprised. It is a bit of a tune, isn't it? It's such a tune. Um, we are, we're just What's here. Like bend down? I haven't filmed hey. anything with you guys today, really, because me and Georgia have like literally got three hours to film so much stuff. So we're not going to be able to take you along for much. Right. Delphi, 
This is your sign to get new knives. Yeah. At least I know if someone ever tried to come and kill me. They, they've got no chance. <laughs> because that is so blunt. Right, we are making... Feta. Actually, what is the... Feta. What Emily you... Tri... <laughs> We're making this from Emily the Nutritionist. It's like a... Look at feta, that. crispy feta egg on sourdough. Yum. This is it is 2.15 and we haven't eaten anything today. We have just been film, 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 film. What the fuck? Sorry. <laughs> right. Georgia always swears on my vlog. Um, I may be on our vlog. This is our vlog now. This is our vlog. Welcome this is to our, our channel. Welcome to our channel. Although, yeah, I think you're doing a fantastic job, hon. Don't be gave up because she was embarrassed. I was, this... I was like, I can't do this. I'm gonna Right, that's a slight. <laughs> oh I'm my sweating. God. Oh, there we go. It's you know what? That's, that's the best slice. My voice just broke. <laughs> there it's you fine. Go. That's munch, fine. munch on this. Yeah, we should munch on the bread. Let's have some munch and chats. My Give this little. Oh my god, yum. Do you want some olive oil and balsamic? Yeah. I think I. You know what? This is some good balsamic. Do I look like the kind of girl that would say yes to that? Much is all I have left. This mm. is like the ten pound basket you buy. You wouldn't think that we're trying to save money in this household sometimes. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So if we always spend like 15 quid on an acid salad when we go out to Yeah, but I don't go out drinking and people No, and I actually and to be honest, this MS stuff wasn't cheap either. I'd rather get the salad. Okay, you are bringing <laughs> It's a disaster guys. You know what? That'll do. Well, it's like a spore in Microsoft <laughs> Sky, isn't it? It's like biology. <laughs> yeah, that's out. You know what? It's alright. It's alright. There you go. They just can't be choosers. That's what it looks like. Not... You know what? You Should we give it a go? Yeah, you, can, you go first. You take it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to soak up the whole balsamic. That's okay. You, you go for it. That's right, that's alright. And then we're going to. Mm. God, there's nothing better than sourdough with some olive oil and balsamic. Oh, or that's butter. That's a cap of catcher. Mm. Yeah. That's so good. Wow. Mm. You would think we're trying to like not eat bread at the moment, but no, bread is healthy. Mhm. Mm I love sourdough, especially warm bread. I think brings more oh, joy. So good. Mm. Especially like starting your meal with warm bread. I don't know if I have pajamas, but we've just been filming. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Have you? Do you like tapas? Sorry, that's right. I do like tapas. I'm not a huge fan of like. Just me. No, I don't really know what I say. Some Spanish things like chorizo, I don't like. I don't like paella because I'm really not. Yeah. I mean, pears, but. I don't know why they mm. mix meat with the seafood. You know, when they do the combo. See, I'm just really not. Like, I like anything, really. Yeah. And then I love like, paella. Because I'm not like a huge meat fan, which I find a lot of tapas is. If there's mm. veggie stuff on there, you know? Mm. You are right, it's a lot of meat. Patapas bravas is lovely. Yeah. Padron peppers. Mm -hmm. I really like, is it aioli? Mm. I never had to say it. So good. It's just going to turn into a food channel. <laughs> We're going to rate, this gawk is actually really decent. Mm. Mm. I think this is well deserved. We've hardly eaten anything today. Mm. What are you doing for dinner tonight? Well, I was literally thinking that. I've got a whole chicken that I need to roast, but I might do that. We're going to have some for lunch in the week. Mm. I bet if I say to David that I'm doing like tofu for dinner, he'll lose the pot. He's hung over, he's mm. not going to want that. No. Mm. Although, mm. I've got a roast. Oh, it's hot though. I can't eat roast in hot weather. Really? I'm so fussy. I think you can tell. No. No, no, I don't. Okay, let's make some food. We are. We're going to fry the eggs now. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's pop you here. I'm going to eat all this quite up before. Oh god, yeah. the bread hasn't gone in yet. No, 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 we'll go in now. Okay. I just didn't want to rush it, you know. But listen, can we do four eggs in one go, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Fine, we're going to go. You might have to cut them and separate. Fine. Which might not work with that one, though. Let's go olive oil. I could yeah. otherwise, that's fine. Yeah, good with me. But we're going to sprinkle some, f so basically, we sprinkle the feta in the pan and you crack the egg in. This is such good feta because it's seasoned. And then just warm it up a little bit. Oh, what I do to be in grease right now. 
Oh, uh, I think we should go to Greece. Although actually, I think the vibes in Mallorca, Palma is nice. Yeah, are going to be more. Who's been in Palma recently? Mm. Do you see where GTE is? Mm, mm. That that mm. and the mm. black skirt. Mm. That's the sort of one. Mm. Mm. So <laughs> yeah. Mm. M and S special guys, so good. Crumb. Oh, this is gonna be really yummy. Wow! Hello. I'm actually so excited for this. We'll give you guys a taste test. I need to move that. Up. You will. I'm on chief tidy mode. Yeah. That's what happens when you're the hostess. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm checking the toast. How toasted? Do you buffy your bread or not? I'm um, just going to go straight without that. Have some butter here. Do, do you normally? Well, I don't think so. With I don't normally. No, with the avo. I find the combo. But I'll wait. Yeah. I'll do um, just the avo. Yeah. Okay. To be fair, the cheese is going to be like melted. Oh my god, it's like melted feta. Wow. Melted feta. There is absolutely nothing better. Delish. Thank you. 